Okay, so I'm going to try to summarize why we shouldn't pass this bill. And I know my argument was kind of hard to understand at first, so I'm going to try to make that a little more clear now. And uh, our opponents started out that saying global warming is a problem and we caused that. That's something that we'll assume as well. And they also say the only way we can fix that is through cap and trade. And one ar argument we had against that is that technology can come around and fix it itself. And uh, one successful example they referred to was the acid rain program as a successful cap and trade program. However, it is not the same as our current cap and trade. As I said before, it has no offsets. And also, it was implemented in on, on a much smaller scale as well as there are already being regulations on sulfur dioxide. And as of right now, carbon has no regulations. And so the cap and trade program right now and the acid rain really aren't the same thing. And then uh, comparing it to the European Union, Union's program, many uh, people say that the first phase was a trial and error. However, I don't, I just see it as all an error as it crashed in 2006 because more permits were given out then and pollution and so the prices of these permits dropped to one well, the one cent for the euro, whatever that is. And also, the main goal of that, many people think, is to reduce, reduce emissions. And over that first phase, emissions uh, were not reduced. There were actually more permits given out than emissions, so it had no effect. And as well as in uh, 2009, as I said earlier, that uh, the EU stated that they reduced emissions by 50 million tons but 80 million of these tons were offsets, and so they didn't technically reduce them. They just, supposing that it was a perfect world and these offsets were completely accurate, there's still the same amount of emissions. Oh, I'm sorry, there's actually 30 million more tons of emissions with these 80 million tons of offsets. And so even in the recent 2009 year, the EU failed to reduce the emissions. And uh, as for other for cap and trade programs that failed, I, uh, I didn't say what they were earlier, but in Los Angeles there's the Reclaim program to reduce ground level ozone, and that that I'll just say that failed over a five year period. It resulted in the common problem of over allocation of permits, which means more permits than there was actual pollution. And what happened there was that the price of pollution permits actually skyrocketed, which was opposite what I, I would have thought. And the electric utilities threatened rolling blackouts, and this raised prices for energy consumers, which is all of us. And uh, all the cap and trade did in this situation was produce uh, more expenses and delay as well. And just to uh, name a couple of other programs, there was the Chicago Emissions Reduction Market Systems, and the, which is very similar to the Los Angeles Reclaim Program, as, as well as the Acid Rain Program. All they did was give out more offsets, more permits than actual pollution, so they failed to reduce pollution, which is the whole goal of it. So. That's uh, the main reason we don't think you should pass the cap and trade program because regardless of what they say, it doesn't reduce emissions and it hurts the economy.